Hello everyone and welcome back to my guide on how to complete the Rubicus in Final Fantasy Type 0. Yeah, we are about to enter the gauntlet of missions that nobody likes. Well, I don't know how many people like them. Because <laughs> I'm fairly sure in Final Fantasy 15 the worst part was when you entered that gauntlet of going to the enemy camp and not being able to do anything else. So this feels pretty much like the same thing. Bokuro. And this in particular is the worst mission in the game. This mission... This mission requires you to sacrifice your leader. Hmm. Let me see. Am I just gonna cheese it? You could technically speaking by this point in time have the regal crown. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna cheese it. I don't care. Um because this mission deserves all of the cheese. This set of missions deserves all of the freaking cheese. Let's go. Oh wait, Alto Cristarium. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, so what we want to do now is go to Blizzard RF, increase the range immediately. This is priority number one, it needs to have range. Because Ram has enough firepower to essentially overwhelm most stuff, but she it needs to have range. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Well, at least this one to serve, yeah. Alright, um, hmm. Don't bother with bile. Bile is absolute shite. Once magenta, this one's red. Uh, in order to get the next chain level for Phantom, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this sooner, you just need higher level enemies. And you need to kill them with the spell correspond, so if you want red Phantom, you have to kill them with the fire spell, if you want blue Phantom, I would do a nice spell, so on and so forth. And they just need to be a higher level. Um, do I need to promote some abilities? I don't think so. If I have the abilities that I'm gonna be using for the most part. Well, yeah, Ace is a little bit underdeveloped. <laughs> it's saying. We don't get untouchable? Okay. Okay. Alright, we'll focus on Ace. Um, yeah, next time, because we really do need to level him next time for the next mission, because Machina will very soon be out of our party. Um, yeah, this is where you raise their stats with the HP and MP enhancers that you get. Adola and Vermilion Bird, not really relevant, but that's where you raise them. Okay, let's go, we wasted enough time. So we want to go to his car. Oh, 
be getting the regular chocobo because we just want to go to that town right over there and I don't want to waste the real good chocobo for that thing, but... We could have caught a bird along the way just to replace the bird if we are going to do this thing. Yeah, this one. Alright. Okay, Crystal, get out of my way. So we want to talk to these dudes. We don't care about wandering around here because we will essentially have this place to wander around when we come back uh, at the somewhere around the end of the game so there's no point in actually wandering right now through this place. You don't get anything extra, you don't do anything extra, so you just go here directly and you have enough fuel to make it here. Mm, no, we already... Uh, all right, no, I need to change the equipment. Ram. Uh, so I want this. Cadre already has fire already. The machina doesn't need them. Okay, the first mission is to get through here without attracting attention. You can do this pretty easily. There we go. Don't fight this thing, it's too high level. I will kill you. Yeah, and haste usually lasts you enough to get through here. Um, Phoenix Fee. So we want we want to have uh, we want to equip the Phoenix Fee because we will be losing our leader now. You should have free Phoenix Fee if you've been doing if you've been following the guy. Um, the next one is to get. To go to a room undetected, so we want to. Oh, wait a second, it's not this one. It's not this one. Where is it? No, it's not that way either. So we go from here. We want to go. Ah, you pieces of. Oof. You have to pop right now. Oh no. Um, but if you would have made it to that door without being detected, you could have uh, actually done that as so. well. What you want to do here is make sure that you kill that switch first and then find out where the key card is. And once you do, you get the key card and you get to this PC, it will count as completing. Now, this boss. You want to do this on a first playthrough because this boss is going to be level 149 if you decide to go straight for the boss.
Alright, so now we made it to the door without being interrupted. So now we can activate this and get our elixir. Would have gotten another elixir if we would have been. Okay, don't activate this at all. Uh, unless you actually reach that switch. Because. Look at that one. Like, that guy was about to hit the switch. If you had activated that SO, you would have been dead. Well, you would have triggered the fail of SO. Of the SO. I don't know why he didn't hit it at that point in time. That was ridiculous that he didn't. But this is the hardest one. If you don't manage to do it, it's okay. This is definitely the hardest SO. So I would not beat myself over the bush to trying to uh, complete that so that it's so pretty hard to do. Should be over here, yeah. Okay. So here, this is a this is the clear path towards that thing. Okay. We got the ID. You always want to go for the switch so that they can call the security guards and that will prevent you from failing the assault. Okay, now that robot should be the level 40 something, which will make him way more manageable to deal with than if he wasn't and now we just want to get out of here what are you doing Ram? get out of my way you bitch okay so you could have run for this door without doing those three things but again he would have been level 149 and you would have had to spend half an hour beating on his ass you can don't get me wrong you can Entirely beat on his ass. Okay, that should give Rem re rays, which means that now when that guy will kill her automatically, she will come back. Where's the other guy? Did you kill him? Okay, fine. They always do that. They always get you out of combat for that guy. Decline, because I already took damage. They're gonna fail me. Wait a minute, where's the third one?
ridiculous. You thought you could beat me by yourself? What a stupid idea. There was nobody else? No, thank you, Makuna. You do not have rewrites. Okay, we are at the point where you need rewrites. This is the point you jump through there, there he is. Okay. Get ready. This is the point. This is unavoidable. <laughs> Hello, you asshole. Remember this pain when I revive before you can leave. <laughs> Ah, what a dumbass. So the souls here are to kill these guys before they enter the tanks. I don't care because I do enough. I do a butt ton of damage to these dudes. And they give me good fun. Fan for so I'm gonna kill them in the tank. Now we have the good to kill himself when these soldiers uh, die. Yeah, like that. He will come into the side after you kill all his soldiers. Last part, save here. First assignment, assign only one. Alright. Boss fight time. So Buduraku will only always start with the same thing, the thing that will one shot you for everything. So go to this corner, run until you can't run anymore, and wait for him to do his special little attack. This one. It will kill your teammates. If you have a party here, they're dead. 
So that is your S rank dead. Right over there. We will not be S ranking this quest still. Oh no. Ha ha ha. One shot. Oh man, I could have. Oh. I forgot to fulfill that mission. I forgot to fulfill that mission that gives me a. I believe that gives me a summon. I think. Oh. That will be so nasty when I have to redo that. Okay. Asshole time. So this dude. This dude over here. Uh, there's two ways to deal with him. Number one, you actually deal with him. Number two, you kill all of your party members. That will be the easiest way. If he's in that corner, he has two attack patterns. If he's in that corner, he will snipe you from above. No problem, you can stay in whatever corner and he will never get to you. Otherwise, what you want to do is you want to run around because he's going to try and come at you. That's his second attack pattern, coming after you. And for this one, you just want to run away from him. As far as humanly possible. Okay, okay, he went back there, so he's sniping me from above. Go to a corner, and we will be fine. The SL here is to land for he hits on him. It's not worth it without the bogey or insignia. He has way too many ways to kill you. And you are not going to survive. Um, we have to do this for about 4 minutes. Quite frankly, the easiest way right now would be to... If he is in that corner, he's also sniping you from above. So he has two places. He can be there or he can be there. That's... Uh, those are the two places where he will try and snipe you from above. Otherwise, he's chasing you, trying to kill you. So just run around whenever he's not sniping you from above. Just run around and avoid him. Oh, no, 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 thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. So, yeah, if you don't want to waste this time, just let all of your party members die to him. That will end this battle as soon as your last party member dies, and he kills them pretty fast. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck with about four minutes of this in this epic song. He's unkillable, by the way. You can't kill him. You won't know when it's over because the legionary will start talking. There it is. It's over now. It's gonna stay there. If this hits you, it will kill you. So don't get killed at that end. Yeah, if we would have killed a couple more dudes, we could have gotten an S rank there, but. Mm. This mission is pretty long and boring, so. I give myself a leeway every time with this one, it's, it's pretty hard and annoying. We are now in chapter 4. Okay, it doesn't matter who you talk to here in two playthroughs, you will talk to everybody. So 
So I'm just talking to these guys because they're here. But if you don't want to talk to them, talk to whoever. So I'm gonna do something because it's usually easy to forget during the first time and that is um, to get a couple of scenes for the Rubikas which are very easy to miss. So this scene is missable. Oh lord, she's here. <laughs> Interesting. It's irrelevant. You can't complete her task now. Oh, uh, that's a new game plus only task. You can't complete it now. And this no, scene. No. This is the scene that I usually forget about. So these two scenes, passing this door once, the first time when you go in, We'll get you a scene when you come back from there. We'll get you another scene. Um, and I usually forget about those two, two scenes. Yeah, let's talk to this guy because he's very hard to see and I don't want to um, forget about him. Okay. So now we are in mission day. Okay, so I want to sell some stuff. Um, yeah, anything that produces my MP is not worth it. Yes, okay. So we should be fine in terms of equipment. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we are fine. Alright, let's go. So this is the longest mission in the game. Find you for even thinking about. Yes, yes, Hello. That is, believe it or not, that is the first time I've heard that conversation between Makina and Kata there. Okay, so the SL here is pretty simple. We need to, we just need to get these two glowy things. That's the SL. It will give us an elixir. Uh, Ram, what are you doing? 
Alright, so that guy runs away because he's a coward. I'll be accepting haste. The SL here is to kill the airship. There we go. Okay. I believe the SO here is to kill Kamasa. Okay. Here is to find items. One of them's over here. Uh, Ram. Ram. Okay, one of them is over here. One of them is over here. And the other one is right over here. Yeah, this will give us an elixir. Okay. And now we are gonna be fi uh, finding out a new enemy, which we do not give a shit about. That's a berserk or whatever it's called, I don't care. Because he never, he's never fast enough to catch me. Sure, dude, sure, dude, sure, dude. Oh, he's called a super soldier here. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, these are to collect some items, which one of them is right over here. One of them is over here. Okay. And one of them is... Uh, where, where was that? Yeah, here they are. Okay. So after we've gotten that one, we want to go after the main boss, which he is uh, over here. We are gonna end this man's career. And we want to... Yeah, look Super Soldier, that's how much I'm afraid of you. I literally stop to loot people while you are on my tail. <laughs> you are that non-threatening, my dude. <laughs> Never even a chance. <laughs> yes, what a pity. I got away. Who would have guessed? Me. Okay. So this section has the HP enhancer that so many people like to collect. I don't know if you if you actually want to max out this time. Get over here, dumbass robot. 
Alright. So the HP enhancer is right over here. This mission is redoable. You can do this again and again and get this HP enhancer as many times as you want in order to max out their stats completely. I think I'm making my case right now that you don't need stat, uh, that you don't need HP and MP. Like, uh, Ram does not have any HP items. Um, she has only MP items right now because I don't have free cast items. Oh, and you get that while you don't What is the point? What is the absolute point? There is no point. Okay, that should be it. And it's not the extra MP that's making Ram really powerful right now, it is the extra stats, the extra magic offensive stats. So as long as you have offensive stats, it's not. You think too highly of yourself, my dude. That MV truck is almost guaranteed, I've almost always gotten it. Actually, I think I've always gotten it, no. Now that I think about it. What it does is it gives you a key to unlock this truck. Um. And now it's time for the boss of this stage, this stupid shit. Come on, come at me. Come at me, she's whining about a villain that nobody cared. Yeah, get out of here. As soon as you smack her around a bit, take one or two of her HP bars, she will go upstairs. Because of course you, because you can't kill her right now. So you have to make room for yourself by going to these trucks. Come on, gal. I'm not there anymore. Come on. You supposedly have to run away from a boss that you can basically, I don't know, four shot. But she's unkillable right now, so... You're the coward, I can't kill you right now, so that makes you the coward, not me. If I had my way with you, you'd be dead. And I don't even need that amazing stats to take care of this girl. She's actually not that special. Katra, you have a void. You have no reason to get hit right about now. Alright, so the next thing coming up is actually a gorilla. And that gorilla is ice immune. Rem has double ice, so... But that's not a problem, you know, because I have Makina. And Makina can take care of Mr. Gorilla. Okay, this collectible is this one.
And we need to take care of all of these funny things before we can actually... Before we can actually pick this one up and that will complete it. And we got uh, something for Queen, Rubo Sivers for Queen. And now we have a poor little behemoth who unfortunately for him I am invincible right now. So not even worth my time. Wonder. Oh, you're invincible too before you get in the room, aren't you? On the behemoth who give the because I'm leaving and the mission is still not over. The mission is still not over. We still have to deal with the number one more time. Until she runs away because Okay. Yeah, she's probably the boss that I don't particularly like because look at her, she's a coward. She's a bloody coward and an annoyance. And she likes to smack talk you. For no reason. Since we got another MV truck. That one's not as guaranteed. I've had times when it dropped. I've had times when it refused to drop. I don't know what and how to make that consistent. Okay, boss fight time. Finally, we can kill this. Get back here. Get back here, that is an order! Get back here. She's gonna climb up because she has to and then she's gonna drop down because her life is dead and then we can kill her. Bye! You are never a challenge. Yeah, you are almost always gonna guarantee us running this mission because it's so long, there's so many required places where you have to kill people, so you're almost guaranteed to us rank it purely by going through it. <laughs> okay. You should talk to everybody here, they give you stuff, for no other reason than just for the fact that they give you stuff. Okay. This is the secret of this region. Um, I'll be switching you over with Ram for a little bit, Catra, just because I want to. So, six is the fastest that running. This is the only reason why she's here. Uh, don't go to the to that region. There's no reason for us to go there. We will be back in this region very soon. So there really is no reason for us to go there right about now. So we'll just be heading to the ocean. <sighs> yeah.
Yeah, so six can run this with only two encounters. Some characters are slow enough to get an encounter here, just saying. Jack. I uh, had uh, some um, runs where I wanted to run with only one character and I did have an encounter here with Jack, if I'm not mistaken. That was crazy because this is such a small portion to run and you think, how? How? I don't know how but it happened. Okay, finally in chapter 5. Die. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. So... Um... <laughs> So we do have a very annoying task right about now. Um, no, actually, we can. We should be fine. Let's go and search around. Um, so we do have the only task that Nagi ever, all of our friends will have, except for Carla. Carla just wants money, but all of our friends will have these tasks that they want us to do. Nagi is the first one and he wants proof of existence from the Cactuar. So in order to do this we have to catch the Cactuar and make it spawn. We will be forcing it to appear in the Chocobo Ranch. Now usually when it comes to this task, the character does pop pretty um, early, so it's, I don't know, he, maybe he has a higher encounter rate when this task is on, than to... Um, but yeah, we'll just be forcing the character to appear. There he is, there he is, and now that should give us, yeah, the Cactar Blossom, which is exactly what we need for Nagi. So we're going here to defend this task, okay, we got it, we got to the stupid ballistic shield, whatever. Alright. Now we want to go to sorcery. We have two tasks in sorcery. This dude wants us to give him seven silent phantom. I don't even know if I have them. Okay, I apparently do. Um, for silent, I think you need to beat level furry or forty yes, enemy, so. something like that. Furry enemy with blizzard. Boom. We are just gonna go to the arena and smack furry dudes with ram. I am. Hello, babe. Yeah, you'll see in a minute why I'm not happy to see him. At level 50 something, these guys are already giving me small phantom. Yeah. So yeah, it's about level 30 to 40 something like that. So that should get you the...
Okay. That actually took less time than I thought it would. is gonna give us something that we can't sell because we need it for a quest which is these 12 jewel rings you actually only need one but it's best to not sell them okay so ready the room um let's go to the armory fire shards uh Let's see if we actually have those. Yeah, we should. Um, these are from plants, from bombs, anything that's fire related. They will drop in case you don't have them, so go outside and find them. Uh, but you should have them from uh, fire. Um, when we were trying to get fire shards from the other guy. Uh, there shouldn't be anything in the ready room. I believe the girl's back in the lounge with, um, where is she? How much does she want? 800. Do I have 800 points? Yes, I do. Okay. In case you don't, I already showed you how to farm these. We will have to farm because she will go to 1000, 1500, and 2000 next. So those are very hard. Uh, there, there's a lot that you want. Okay, um, those are all of the tasks from inside. We're gonna go to the tasks from outside. Don't touch this dude. We will be ignoring him for now. <sighs> all right, so expert trial. We need to get covering the cadets because we can't actually do more before covering the cadets. So we want one top of Phoenix down. We already have by doing that guy's task, so we should have that. Um, but the when Endra wanted to talk to Rem, that should have given you. So we got expert trial covering the cadets, and we need to get his task now because he wants Rem to get an extra to get an S, S rank in covering the cadets okay requirements for this 24 minutes 140 phantom it will take us 40 24 minutes to S rank this yeah 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 and those are the tasks that we will go outside with yes our friend Reed is here we will be doing his quest um oh boy and Rai usually ruins my All right, so we just say let's go. Go back to his car. Okay. There's a character in this region, by the way. He's level 99. Don't go after him. We'll be going after him when we have Meteora and we can actually beat him. Which means new game plus. So remember, 140 Phantom. Nima 
開始します。クラスセカンドが侵入に成功した。これより進行を開始する。全員遅れるなよ。So keeping the bosses alive will make the minions respawn a couple of times, which will give us a couple of time for us. There's three of them. This is the reason why I don't bring teammates because the teammates would have gone for the boss and I would have to. Yeah, good job, me. As I say that, I am not paying attention and I end up losing my um, uh, items. Equip. We need to equip eaters. Um, hmm. So our best bet is to... Stop it, Ram! I'm gonna lose that guy soon tomorrow. I'd rather not lose it again. Okay, so that guy's not gonna respawn again. Probably these guys. Now you will know you're done because you will get a victory once you're done.
Yeah, there is this. So that's how you know you're done in an area. <laughs> because you will get a victory sign. That gave us 40 something phantom account. Okay, so we'll all be going here. And here... The goal is to let these guys kill the machine. Don't worry, these guys cannot actually die to the main machine. And I'm just gonna do that and uh, go after the soldiers. In order to get the most amount of... I can kill. I don't know if this is an infinite spawn.
to 81. Yeah, it seems like you can. Seems like you can actually um, farm all of your phantom out here in 90. But that is only if you're solo, if you have a party. You can't do that. Okay. going to use a uh, first aid on her and then eat her. And there's actually three places like this though. <laughs> so you can definitely farm all of your phantom in one place. I waste the time in the beginning. 
because so long as you leave that boss alone, it seems like these guys will just keep on spawning. after this bullshit like look at how many kill sites we get <laughs> from this one mission alone and whatever we had previously considering the fact that she's killing all these dudes it's kind of hard not to get the kill sites with her yeah. Okay, eight more. Yeah, see that guy heals himself, so he'll never die. Five more. We are done and we have haste. Okay, perfect. No, my haste is gone. Alright. We quite literally don't care about Phantom anymore. We are going to run through the objectives until we are done. Get out of my way. Give me the good stuff. Ram, run. Run, ram, run. Thank you, Hosoku! What are you calling me? Hi, dude! Eighteen minutes, that's uh really really need to hurry. As always it takes so long to do the submission in different of how you do it. Number Okay, 
任務に変更はない爆弾を処理しながら任務を遂行せよ Oh my goodness. Ah, twenty two minutes left. So is so close with this one if you don't have all to my eight. S ranking this mission. I hate S rank. This is the reason why I never S rank any mission uh, without Ultima. Because if, Ult if I had Ultima, this would be a one shot. Everything here would be a one shot in all miles, in so many directions. Ram. Come on, where 
is she? Where is he? When twenty four minutes. Oh. Look at that, look at why I don't like us ranking this mission. What in the... It looked like I S ranked this? What in the... Am I... Am I... I don't even know. I'm going to pretend like I s it because I actually do need to buy some stuff from here. Don't go after that guy. Um, the Lassie Crystal is right over here. That guy wants a behemoth from the cave. We'll be back for what he wants. Um, so we want to buy... Ah, oh, no, no, nothing. So what's the point of coming here? No point whatsoever, apparently. Okay, we'll be returning to academia and seeing... Uh, <sighs> is it said that I earned an S rank? I don't know how. That's not possible, but let me see if I fulfill this guy's request. Anyway, I did. I stand corrected. Um, hmm. It's interesting how it, they gave me the S rank even though I got a B for time. It's probably because I was so close on it. Uh, because it was 24 minutes and I was, what, 20 seconds over? Something like that, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of weird that they gave me time there. Maybe they're a little bit more lenient. Um, because I usually wouldn't have gotten time. But yeah, this S rank took me a while, so this video is long enough because of this douche. So I will be ending the video there. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.